Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a card using the brand new Baked with Love and Cookie Sheet Stamps and Dies from Honeybee Stamps. I'm also sharing fun ways to add dimension and texture to your cards, so let's get started. First I've die cut a lot of images from the Cookie Sheet die set and I'm starting by coloring my cookies. I color the scalloped cookie shapes with my E33 marker. I don't worry too much about getting smooth coverage at this point. Then I go in with my E37 marker and add a thin line of color around the edge of the cookie. I extend that line with my E35 marker and then blend it together with E33. This just gives the cookie a little bit of dimension and a rounded appearance through my shading. I repeat this process for all the cookies. In hindsight, I probably would have left off E37 as my cookies turned out a bit more burnt than intended, however I maintain that they still probably taste good. For the frosting, I used E30, E0000 and my colorless blender. I added a little dark color around the edges and then blended it out to white in the center. Finally, I used a few blue Copic markers to add a little color to the handle of my spatula. I also die cut the spatula from silver frosted mirror cardstock, and eventually I'll cut off the blue handle and attach it to the metallic cardstock. Next I take a piece of patterned paper from the Beach Vibes paper pad and trim it down to an A2 panel using a stitched rectangle die. I also die cut the cookie sheet from dark grey cardstock. I want to create semi-realistic looking piping bags, so I stamp and heat emboss several on vellum and then die cut them with the coordinating dies. I add a thin layer of Nouveau drops in a variety of colors to resemble frosting. They start to curl a little as they dry, so I hold them in place with low tack tape. I set them aside to continue drying while I assembled my cookies. For the cookies, I simply use liquid glue to add the frosting to each cookie. And then I add decorative squiggles and lines in the same Nouveau drops to the cookie frosting and sprinkle them with Chunky and Prisma glitter. While the cookies are drying, I finish my piping bags. The bags aren't totally dry yet, but they're dry enough so that the drops aren't running everywhere. I adhere another heat embossed bag over the bag with the drops and use my fingers to push around the drops a bit to create a dimensional effect. If the drops were super wet at this point, they just squish out the sides of the bag, ruining the effect. But this gives the piping bags a little characteristic wrinkle.
To complete the look, I add little piping tips of the same frosted silver cardstock to each finished piping bag. Then I layered my cookie sheet on an angle on the pattern paper and added a sentiment from Baked With Love. Then I arranged my piping bags, spatula and cookies on the panel and tore a few cookies to create broken pieces. I adhered all of them to the scene and then added another squiggle of Nouveau Drops coming out of one of the piping bags to finish my card. And that's it! You can find more information on the products I use in the YouTube description below. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting! Bye!